Hello, everybody. I am so glad you're here with me today. I have been waiting, waiting to do this reaction since, well, since last night when I saw what was going to drop today. This is the newest video from Home Free. The song is Mississippi Squirrel Revival, a cover of an old Ray Stevens song that is absolutely hilarious. I mean, to the point that I've actually watched the original video a couple of times in the last year because I love it that much. So I hope you're all ready. If you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And for everybody, whether you're new, whether you've been part of the Corgi Pack for a while, go ahead and hit the like button and let's get started. Well, when I was a kid, I'd take a trip every summer down to Mississippi to visit my granny in her antebellum world. I'd run barefooted all day long, climbing trees, freeze a song. One day I happened to catch myself a squirrel. A squirrel. Well, I stuffed him down in an old shoebox, punched a couple holes in the top. When Sunday came, I snuck him into church. I was sitting way back in the very last pew, showing him to my good buddy Hugh, when that squirrel got loose and went totally berserk. Totally nuts. What happened next is hard to tell. Some thought it was heaven, others thought it was hell. But the fact that something was among us was plain to see. Plain to see. As the choir sang, I surrender all. The squirrel ran up Harp Newland's coveralls. Harp leaped to his feet and said, something's got a hold on me. Yeah. The day the squirrel went berserk. In the first self-righteous church In that sleepy little town of Pascatula It was a fight for survival That broke out in revival They were jumping pews and shouting Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Well, Harv hit the aisles dancing and screaming Some thought he had religion, others thought he had a demon And Harv thought he had a weed eater loose In his fruit of the loom He fell to his knees to plead and beg And that squirrel ran out of his britches leg Unobserved to the other side of the room. There he goes. All the way down to the Amen pew where sat Sister Bertha better than you. Who'd been watching all the commotion with sadistic glee. Well, you should have seen the look in her eyes when that squirrel jumped her garters and crossed her thighs. She jumped to her feet and said, Lord, have mercy on me. As the squirrel made laps inside her dress, she began to cry and then to confess to sins that would make a sailor blush with shame. There once was a sailor filled with shame. She told of gossip and church dissension, but the thing that got the most attention was when she talked about her love life. And then she started naming names. The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Well, seven deacons and the pastor got saved, and $25,000 got raised, and 50 volunteered for missions in the Congo on the spot. And even without an invitation, there were at least 500 rededications, and we all got rebaptized whether we needed it or not. Now you've heard the Bible stories, I guess, how we parted the water for Moses to pass all the miracles God has brought to this old world. But the one I'll remember to my dying day is how he put that church back on the narrow way with a half-crazed Mississippi squirrel. Hallelujah! The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. Okay, why is George Jetson in here? And if we change the hairstyle on this woman, wouldn't she look like Mrs. Jetson? I'm trying to remember what she looked like, but that is definitely George. Okay, moving on. Let's back just a smidge here. Town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The day the squirrel went berserk in the first 
Oh my goodness, that was awesome. That was perfect. It was a little bit strange to see George Jetson in there, but perfect. I just love that song. Tim did a fantastic job with it. Now they just need to do the streak, you know what I'm saying? And um, I, I won't go there. <clears throat> Okay, I was going to say they need to do with live action, not animation. But, uh, yeah, my bad. Anyway, go ahead and if you like this video, go ahead to like and subscribe. Click the no notification bell and leave a comment. Let me know you were here and that you enjoyed the video. And let's see, I've also got a Patreon page now and a merch shop available. And there's also some links down below for Cash App and Venmo if you're so inclined. Just for the sake of transparency, my daughter and I are getting ready to move to uh, Texas, probably the Fort Worth area this summer. And so we're trying to put the money together to make sure we have a proper vehicle since we can't really take city transit. And uh, also, you know, just cover moving expenses and getting a new place, etc. Anyway, so if you can help out, that would be really awesome. If not, I totally understand, totally. But anyway, uh, let's see. I've got another video that will be dropping tomorrow. And mm, I think that's about it. Let me know if I've forgotten anything. All, of course, all the links to the video and to Home Freeze channel and all of that stuff will be in the description below, as well as in one of those little info card things with the, over on that side, I think. So, yeah, I will see you next time. Love you. Have a great day.